moment to reflect and for perspective here in Tallahassee. Regardless, as you mentioned it, Chip, I think nobody could say it any better. But whether you wear garnet or green, you can always cheer for the red, white, and blue. And some folks who are pretty good at cheering are the animals of Section B. We've talked about it time and time again. 40-year anniversary. There's your man Mongo, and boy, they could really have a party over there. Every day they walk. Look at my big guy right here. It's not his first rodeo, I promise you that. <laughs> Let the party begin. Oh, gold uniforms, love it. <laughs> those gold uniforms. That's a trip to Omaha right there with the gold uniforms. I was going to say, and those gold uniforms look a little different. And there's your man right there all these years later. And hey, guess what? He can still do just like he did back then. And there you are, Chip, oh, yeah, taking a look get on. Man's moment. And speaking of you, there you and I are at their wiffle ball tournament. We're, gonna, we're not going to pay attention to that other part of the wiffle ball tournament, but. It was an honor to be there today. It absolutely was. And for more on the animals of Section B, here's Katherine Phillips. Take it away, KP. Thank you, Sean. I am in the loudest spot in the ballpark, joined by the Section B animals. This is Dayton. He flew in from Denver to celebrate their 40th anniversary this weekend. Dayton, how did the animals tradition begin? The animals started with a man named Saul, FSU's number one fan. He used to come to the stands and throw day-old donuts to us and all this other stuff. So we threw him back. He got mad at us, but then we gave him a birthday cake, beautiful birthday cake with candles and everything. And he goes and we sing him happy birthday, he goes to cut the cake, it's a fake cake. So he starts getting the icing and he's throwing it at us, calling, you guys are a bunch of animals, you're a bunch of animals. And that's how the animals were officially named. All right, now you guys are known for some unique chants. You've got K-Time, Rag Arm, but some of them, the meaning isn't as obvious. Oh, Canada, you sing that in the fifth inning. Explain the significance of that to me. Well, Canada started back during the Olympics of 1988 when the Olympics were going on in Canada. There were guys out here watching a baseball game, and they had, they had heard the Canadian National Anthem being sung so much that they just started humming during the game in the fifth inning. We had a rally, we won the game, they did it the next day. Look, and then it just went from there. Every, in the fifth inning, things just seemed to happen when we sing O Canada. All right, now I have to ask, if I wanted to become a Section B animal, I imagine it's a rigorous process. What would I do? You just have to come to all the games, hang out with us, and support the cheers. We'll even give you a song book. But we make new cheers and we make new songs every day. So, it's a piece of cake. All right, well, these guys have fun, so I may just hang out here, but Sean, I'm gonna send it back to you. Well, KP, I wanna hang out over there too. Why wouldn't I? It looks like it's a real party. And as you heard, new songs, one of the new songs with Salvatore on the roster was for Mike Salvatore, and guess who came through for him? And now the pass ball will advance him into scoring position. Animal magic. Correct myself, that was a wild pitch, not a fast ball either way. Not the ideal start here for Daniel Fetterman. 